This is what it's all about for Nunavut's athletes. A chance to win gold at the Arctic Winter Games. But this year, some might not even get that chance. We've had to get pretty creative. At least 50 athletes still don't have their passports to go to the games, which are in Alaska, including six players of the under-15 hockey team. Language barriers, slow mail delivery, and missing documents are all being blamed. We had a couple kids in the communities that didn't have uh, birth certificates, which is a requirement to have your passport. Uh, so I uh, individually contacted my family member to go to the home of uh, the athletes and go over all the necessary documents. Nunavut athletes who earned their spot. Nunavut MP Lori Idelout raised the issue in the House of Commons. She says part of the problem is Nunavut only has three Service Canada centres. None process passport applications. Families are now forced to pay thousands of dollars to fly down south to get their passports expedited or not compete at all. She says this issue is an example of the problems with Service Canada in Nunavut, including having no forms available in Inuktitut. The correspondents are sent in English and French only, so there are many Inuit that don't read either of those languages. Idlout says her office helped more than 20 athletes through the process by having their applications sent to her office here in Kaluit and then hand delivering them to Service Canada locations in Ottawa and Gatineau. But in November, Idlout says she got a letter from Service Canada red flagging her office and banning her staff from presenting any more applications in person. And while the Arctic Winter Games are still five weeks away, mail in and out of Nunavut is notoriously slow. Even express posts can take more than a week to reach its southern destination. Tack on the 20-day processing time for passports, and team officials are scrambling to get as many done as they can. Nick Murray, CBC News, Iqaluit.